I write stories that are supposed to be fun and scary and make readers believe the unbelievable. Nobody doesn't like Stephen King. Whether you've read it, whether you've watched it, Stephen King's at the forefront of the genre. I remember reading The Shining and I was in an attic of an old mansion in the Adirondacks. And that was not the place to read The Shining. I mean, it was The Shining. I told Stephen I wouldn't buy a house once because the number was 217. And that's the number of the room in The Shining that you don't go into. Just a single, man. Come and see me. I learned my chops from some of the writers who worked for the original Twilight Zone. You can make people believe if you have touchstones in the real world. Terrence Maitland, I'm arresting you for the murder of Frankie Peterson. For the what? Then you introduce the element of the supernatural. Your prints are all over the van, crime scene. But TV footage puts you 60 miles away. I had the idea for a long time to write a story about a guy who was in two places at the same time. And what really turned my dials was I thought to myself, I'd like to have a protagonist here who has skin in the game. I only have one question for you. Did you ever touch my kid? Detective Ralph Anderson, he's a good, upstanding guy who's faced with um, a situation which is way outside his scope. I have no... Um... Tolerance for the unexplainable. Well then, sir, you'll have no tolerance for me. Holly is one of the most interesting characters in my entire lexicon. She is a private investigator, but she's ever so slightly off. The struggle is Holly has to convert Ralph's lifelong empirical training to believe in something you've never been able to believe before. To some damn strange things in this world of ours, and what always interests me in stories like this is how does a person cope with the unbelievable? If he has a message he wants to give me, he can give it to me himself. I don't think you want that. No!